What's happening guys, Mike here from Hammer Fitness. Today I'm taking you guys through a back and by workout. Now, what I want uh, you get out, for you to get out of this video is to actually take in some crucial pointers and uh, what to do in particular exercises when doing a back and by routine. And it does not necessarily have to be just a back and by routine. So all the exercises I do in this, in which case, let's say if you chuck in one of the exercises I use in like a full body routine, it all still applies, okay? So I'm actually going through the form. I'm just doing a back and by workout today, but through each exercise, I'm gonna go through particular form, technique, and things to look out for to maximize every single set, every single workout, uh, and every single exercise. Now, stay tuned right towards the end because that's where I'll chuck in a really groovy exercise that I don't think is used very common, uh, but it's a wicked one. I'm gonna chuck in two actually, one for back, a uh, real groovy one for back that's not done too common and a bicep exercise that's not done too common but it works an absolute treat. All right, stay tuned guys, let's hit that gym. All righty, get stuck into the first exercise which is the lat pull down. Obviously keeping the back nice and straight, what I'm gonna do is actually show you the wrong form in a second. There we go, too much lean is uh, not good. Too much of anything is not good. Uh, what you want to do is pretty much keep your core nice and stable. Imagine those hips and your shoulders are in line. Uh, so your back's not too curved in, uh, but you're not rounding out at the same time. So just trying to pull that bar right down to the top of the chest, keeping your elbows nice and tucked in. So imagine you're just pulling those elbows right into your lats, squeezing on the muscles as much as you can. And notice the tension as well, uh, and notice the tempo. So it's about two seconds up, two seconds down. You can actually use momentum to your side if you want. So faster uh, is gonna be easier, the slower, the harder. All right, onto the next exercise, which is single arm dumbbell row. All right, so I've actually got my feet parallel uh, to the bench, one arm on the bench for support. Majority of the weight is gonna be through my uh, feet. All I'm trying to do is pull that dumbbell right to my hip. All right, as you can see, the dumbbell's on about a 45 degree angle. Um, so the dumbbell actually doesn't hit me in the leg. So we're going to switch arm after 12 reps. I do say 12 reps because uh, I'm going to have a list of the exercises right at the end with the sets, reps and everything. So you can pretty much either take a screenshot or do something with it uh, so you can utilize it later. Now, what I want you guys to focus on as well is always think about the back. All right, So not too arched in and not too rounded out at the same time. That nice happy medium. All right, so I think the best way to go about getting into uh, the shape uh, or the structure of your back is pretty much arch it in first because arching in is better than rounding out, I believe. Right? So this is a subjective point of view. I just feel that uh, if I've had any soreness, it's always been because I've been a little bit rounded out. Um, but yeah, so rather go arching in first and then push it out uh, a little bit. So just really make sure that those uh, the core is turned on. Uh, and all you're trying to do is imagine like a lawnmower, obviously a nice heavy one. Uh, but you're just pulling that opposite uh, scap into the other side. So just like a seated row, you'd be squeezing those rhomboids together. Alrighty, over to a seated row. Now, as you can see, I'm going to slide back my knees a little bit. I'm just doing this a little bit wrong first up. Um, there we go. All right, so essentially you can have your knees up that high, but it may get in the way. Uh, what I'm showing you here is my knees are only just slightly bent. What that's going to do is allow for my uh, lower back to arch in or keep straight at least. All right, so remember, rather arch in than uh, round out. Now, as you can see, I'm pulling that bar right towards my belly button, keeping the elbows in nice and narrow um, and nice big squeeze in the shoulder blades. If you can imagine sitting against a brick wall, try do that uh, a little bit. Uh, of a lean won't hurt uh, but try not to swing it up all right it should be a nice fluent motion again try aim for about two seconds up two seconds down Alrighty, over to machine high row all right so as you can see i've got that setting uh with the chest pad uh out far enough so that the weight stack doesn't actually touch i'm getting a nice big stretch on the way down Stretching out those rhomboids and then pulling the bar right up, keeping the elbows relatively high, about 45, if not a little bit higher, uh, and getting that nice big squeeze in the uh, rhomboids. Uh, another view, just so you can see my back coming together. So nice big stretch, nice big squeeze. 
Uh, always keep an eye on those elbows. You don't want them too tucked in, otherwise it's pretty much doing a seated row, but your hands are should be in a higher position. All right, over to straight arm pull down. Now you can either use a flat bar, lat pull down bar, whatever it is. I think wider the better, but I've gone for a narrow one here. All I'm doing is I've got a slight lean about 45 degrees forward. I'm aiming to keep my elbows relatively straight, uh, really up to you. I feel sometimes I want to bend them just a little bit, I can feel it a bit more in the lat, so whatever works for you. Again, this is subjective, so that's what's worked for me. Uh, all I'm going to do is pretty much stretch up and then a nice big squeeze down. Another view, just so you can see, getting a nice big stretch up. Um, pulling it all the way towards my hips. <laughs> I've still got straps on, I don't know why. Uh, I was not using it for this one. Thing with the straps as well if you're going real heavy uh, it just allows you to actually focus on the exercise and not necessarily just your grip i do take them off just so i am getting that grip strength working as well so that's always important too much of something isn't good remember all right so this is that funky exercise i was talking about uh, it's not your general uh rear fly or cable rear fly i'm actually on such an angle that it's actually hitting my lats at the, the same time uh, so it's not just rhomboids, it's almost like I'm pulling down in a lat pull down fashion, but it's hitting the lats instead, kind of like a lateral downward fly. Uh, so this feels really cool, and at the same time, if you start to get fatigued, you can always go straight to a lat pull down, almost like a superset, I think I'll do it at the end here. Uh, but again, elbows, totally up to you where you want them. Um, I've got a slight bend, and maybe even at the end I just extend right out, just to really focus on squeezing the crap out of the lats. Uh, this one feels really cool, uh, and it isn't very common either, and there I go on the superset, so just to get that squeeze, if you're feeling it, just go for it. Now right, we're finishing up with biceps, so standing bicep curl with the barbell. Uh, so you're really trying to keep those elbows tucked in, now you've got to think of the middle of your axis, so if the elbows are more tucked back, it's actually going to be easier. The further your elbows are forward, the harder it's going to be, but at the same time, there's also going to be more pressure on your front delt, so really up to you what you want. Um, I'm really trying to focus down on not swinging too much. Again, imagine that brick wall that you're on. I think I swing back a bit too far. That was pretty good. Um, maybe at the end, uh, just imagine that brick wall that you're on. So you don't want to swing back too far. As long as your back's straight, your core's on, you should be safe. Uh, all that focus on the biceps. Alrighty, over to single arm machine curls. Now this is, it seems so straightforward because it's a machine, most machines are, but you should, don't underestimate it, you can still screw up on it. What I'm trying to do here is you can see my hand on my opposite shoulder. What I'm trying to do is actually keep that shoulder down because it's so common when you start fatiguing uh, that that shoulder is actually going to pick up and that actually makes it easier uh, for your bicep. So there's less focus on the bicep and that's often what happens in almost all exercises when you start fatiguing your body tries to take over in a certain way that's why they say a lot of swinging is bad but you know as long as you're not in the risk of injuring yourself uh, and everything is turned on like your core your back and everything's nice and straight uh, you can pretty much do what you want just don't do it all the time uh, if you're swinging in like a last couple uh, that's still safe uh, then just go for it as long as it feels good um, yeah alrighty this is this groovy exercise I was talking about at the start uh, that I wanted to give you guys. I haven't been, done this in quite a while. Um, as you can see, my shoulders hurt a little bit, so I might be like fidgeting a little bit. Uh, but otherwise, if you don't have any shoulder issues, then it's totally sweet. Bicep pump is insane. It actually feels really good, uh, really focusing on the muscle. You've got to keep the elbow in as much of a still position as you can. So imagine like there's something stopping your elbow from actually moving. Uh, but really cool exercise. Just get the bench on about a 45 degree angle. Try to keep your hips and abs on. Uh, sorry, hips straight, abs on, uh, and just focus on the biceps. Um, start off with a light weight. I definitely recommend. Uh, focus on keeping that elbow still, shoulders in line, and then yeah, up your weight where you feel necessary. But just focus on tempo more. So slow down the tempo. Two seconds up, two seconds down, and you'll be sweet. Hope you enjoyed, guys. That is it. Here's the list of exercises. Um, definitely take a screenshot if you want to go back over it. Uh, if you need any more tips, yeah, just go back to the exercise that I was doing. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, definitely take a screenshot of this. Implement it into your week or any workout or even just any exercise for that matter. Just pick and choose uh, whatever you want. Uh, if you guys like this video, please let me know so I can make more like it. Uh, and if there's anything I missed, let me know as well. Till next time, guys. Enjoy. I'll see you in the next video.